on this episode of Path to Performance, presented by Castrol Edge. This is the Legends chassis. This is where the legend starts. Nowadays, it has to work. You gotta have fun with it. The chassis really is everything in these vehicles. It's the entire driving experience. We base our entire company around the vehicle performance. Figured we'd even the playing field with Paul up there and get, to get a set of our own wheels like his there. This year, we're taking you inside the garages of four of the best builders as they bring their cars to life. One of them could take home the Barrett-Jackson Cup. This is the Path to Performance, presented by Castrol Edge. Last time we all visiting, we had moldings kind of getting fit up and machined. We are now in body and paint, so it's uh, we've had the car on the rotisserie. Got the bottom all painted, got the chassis painted, all the chassis parts, everything's going good there, and the body work is about where expected. The top's ready to paint now, and uh, we're working on the doors and fenders. Those will be mounted today. We're bolting the suspension on uh, so we can get the car set on its wheels and on its suspension points like it's going to be sitting there just out on the road. From there, we do the wiring, final plumbing, and uh, then start the interior work on the car. After we've done all the fabrication work and so forth on the sheet metal, we will take it, clean it really well, and then we actually put a, so it's a bare metal etch primer to seal it in, lock it in for moisture, anything else, and then we'll actually come up and do our body work on top of that. The reason we etch the bare metal is, is so that you have that foundation to start all the paint and body work. Let's check in on the Roadster shop. Since you guys were last out here, we did a lot of the component fabrication, mounted all of the components, mounted the body, mounted the chassis, smoothed the firewall, did a lot of the metal work uh, all around the truck, what we kind of call the core mechanical fabrication. Right now, we are in the chassis assembly phase. We just got the chassis back from powder coat, uh, laying out all of our suspension components, laying out all the hardware, and then we will assemble the complete chassis. Today, we're starting to hang all the components on that frame, so we'll have a final assembled, rolling chassis with the drivetrain, the exhaust, uh, the fuel system, virtually every mechanical component will be in that chassis, ready and just awaiting the body to mate to it. So our Legend chassis is kind of a next step from our spec chassis. We start out with a CNC laser cut tube that is kind of cut on a CNC fiber laser, have different sections that are kind of pie cuts that are taken out and then we will weld the frame rail back together to give it all of its shape. The concept really was to utilize those OE components, so upper and lower control arms, front differential, rear axle housing, take all those components and mate them to a uniquely engineered chassis that has all the provisions for them to bolt into it. So that's kind of what makes up that legend chassis. The engine that we're using in this particular build is a LT platform, so it's an LT1, 480 horsepower, and that's mated to a uh, 8L90 GM transmission. Every time you dip into the throttle, it's in the right gear. It uh, makes the driving experience so much better. The power is always there, the torque's always there. It just feels a lot more connected, like you're in control of the vehicle. And then that's mated to a uh, HD transfer case. So that is all controlled electronically through the CAN bus, and it has a four x four selector that's just like a brand new truck. So at any point on the fly, turn that knob, put her into four wheel high, and you're in four wheel drive, ready to roll. Brake system on this truck is, again, kind of derived directly from the new Chevy Silverado pickup truck. Um, uses 100% OEM brake system on it. Booster, master, calipers, rotors, everything are GM components. We run our own stainless steel hard lines for it. Going to the OEM components, you'll lose a little bit of the cool, unique styling factor, but I think you really make up for it in the longevity and performance that they gain. That chassis from the Roadster shop is coming along well. Let's see if Greening is ready to do the bodywork. What we're doing today is putting all the suspension components on. They're all painted ready to go on for, this is final assembly of this part for it. So uh, the reason we're doing this is because of the jack stand points where they're at right now. And the other ones are way in the back. There's a chance, you know, stuff could sag a little bit with all that. So what we want to do is uh, get the car set up on its actual suspension 
and where those points are so it's the same as what the car is just all finished sitting there on the ground. Once we get the suspension on it, get it set on its wheels, then we'll come and put all of the body panels on and just like they're gonna be finalized and then they can start working across the panels, making sure everything lines up just right. And then, like I was saying earlier, some of the bulwark, you see dad uh, rolling through that here on the floor right now, uh, sanding the bottom of the door to the rocker, just ensuring that all that stuff's uh, lining up just right. Yeah, so now the guy's got all the front sheet metal on, suspension all under it. It's setting on its wheels again and uh, ready to go through all this. And uh, figured we'd even the playing field with Paul up there and get, get a set of our own wheels like his there. So we keep up with the big boys up there. Yeah, the front end's looking good. So dad has it all squared up. It's looking good. Uh, just needs a nice good skim coat and uh, getting it all dialed in once the hood's all on. So it, it ought to come together nicely. Excited for it. Currently putting a sway bar uh, on the chassis. So the reason that you do this in this order is you put the lower control arm on, then the shock because the shock will hold it up, and then you put the sway bar on because there's nothing else in the way at this point. So you, you want to do it the hard way, you can backtrack back and forth, but if you just keep stacking this stuff up, it takes a lot less time because you're not going back and forth. We're installing this, the power steering rack. What? actually does all the work on the truck to make it turn. So, and then put the tie rod ends on. Like I said, we're not being exact, so I just get it so that that drops in there without wiggling that around. Put the nut on and we'll tighten it up later. This is a front differential. So when it's in four wheel high or four wheel low, this is what transfers all the power to the front wheels. One front differential installed. There's a lot of little pieces at this point to finish it up, but for the most part, this is the bulk of it. This is the legend chassis. This is where the legend starts. We base our entire company around the vehicle performance. You gotta be in tune to the specific performance you're looking for in each vehicle and kind of be able to adapt and, and build to what the vehicle needs. The aesthetics of the car, like that's really cool, but, and it's great if your goal is to just put it in the garage, but when you're driving these vehicles, and your intention is to enjoy the ownership, the usability, your road touring them. It, it's all in the chassis. I mean, the chassis, it's everything. It's the steering feel, it's the ride quality, it's the safety, it's the performance. All of that is wrapped up in that frame. Nowadays, it has to work. You gotta have fun with it. Now, where the car is, where the project is, kind of the time for, for dad to shine. It's a, it's a hard time as far as workload and stuff, but it's, uh, it's always a good time because once we're over that, it's a real accomplishment. It's a good thing.